Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add Wi-Fi to any camera. Now why would you want to do this? Well let's say you're out and about, you're taking pictures, taking pictures. The problem is you then want to share them on your cell phone. For instance you want to post them to Twitter or you want to post them on Facebook, whatever it is. And this camera of course is much better than the camera on your phone. So the problem has always been, how do we get the pictures from here to here? Now, of course, some people would go home, take out the SD card, plug it into their computer, and then post it like that. But there's an easier way. Now, this camera does not have support for Wi-Fi. It's quite an old model. But inside, you'll find the magic. This is a Wi-Fi enabled SD card. Believe it or not, inside this SD card, it has a Wi-Fi can you believe that? I mean, it's not the best phrasing ever. It has a Wi-Fi, but it has Wi-Fi built into this thing. And it's just amazing. It's it's incredible. Um, for the really techie guys out there, this actually runs a Linux operating system. So there's a lot more you can do with this. But for this video, let's just focus on transferring our pictures from here to here. So just like a normal SD card, we just put it into our camera and then we start taking some pictures. So what should we take a picture of? Let's take a picture of this thing here. Now, this is such an old model, it doesn't even have a live preview screen, so I'm going to have to look through here. Okay, there's our picture. It's probably not a great picture because I'm not really lining it up or checking anything, and it's just on full auto. So we've taken our picture, but how do we now get it from this camera to here? Well, by default, as long as your camera is turned on, the Wi-Fi is enabled. So I'll just put this into the menu so you can see it's still turned on. And then let's open up our iPhone and connect to the Wi-Fi. So just like any Wi-Fi point, we go to our settings, Wi-Fi and you can see it's already connected to Wi-Fi SD because I've already connected to this Wi-Fi point before. Now this is the same whether you're using an iPhone or an Android phone. It doesn't matter what device you use because it's just a standard Wi-Fi connection. The next thing we do is open our web browser. Again, you can see I open Chrome. It can be any web browser at all. That's the thing I love about this, that it's completely universal. And you go to this IP address here, 192.168.11.254. You can see that I saved it as a bookmark, so I don't have to type it in every time. And again, completely universal, this website. Very basic, but universal. So now we've got a menu here. We've got photos, videos, files, because you can share other files. But let's go to photos and click here 100 canon and there you go there's our photo that we took so this is just all being transmitted wirelessly there's no cables involved if i click it i can see information about it like the exposure the f-stop etc and if i click the picture again i get the full size image downloaded to my browser how cool is that? Now the image has come up, I can hold down on it and do save image. And that's it, I can then share it on Twitter, Facebook. If you're wondering about these cables, this is the microphone I'm using to record this video, and I'm just charging my iPhone at the same time. There's not actually any cable connected to the camera. You can see it's just connected over Wi-Fi. So pretty awesome, right? And like I said, because it's fully universal, we can also use it on the computer, for example. So you can see I've loaded it up in Chrome. I can go to Photos then Canon, and then I've got two options. I can click the image and see it here in the browser, which works fine, or I can click download, and it will download just like any other file on the internet, except much faster because it's just over this local Wi-Fi link. So there you go. That's how you can turn any old camera into a Wi-Fi enabled camera. And it's just as simple as swapping the SD with one that has Wi-Fi built into it. Now this is only a 16 gig card because I've actually had this for a few years. I was meaning to review it for something else for the Linux side of it. Something much, much more geeky than what I'm showing you today. Uh, but I never got around to it. So I thought I'd show you this today. You can get much larger ones now and other brands make them. I like Transcend because it's a respected brand Brand, but look around and see what you can find. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.